episode 5, Body Paragraphs and Opinion Writing. Please go back and check episodes 1 to 4 so you can know more information about opinion writing. In episode 4, we learn how to write an introduction paragraph. We need a hook to attract readers and controlling ideas which answer directly the writing prompts. Today, in episode 5, we are going to learn how to write body paragraphs. Because I have three opinions which I recommended the book, I have created three body paragraphs in each body paragraph. I write each opinion. You will find the topic sentence, the supporting details, and the closing sentence, closing sentence in each body paragraph. Let's see my writing example. Controlling idea is my opinions and points about the book which directly answer the writing prompt. Writing prompts share a book you like and recommend your best book of the year. I highlighted in green so I can put the controlling ideas and know what I can write in each of three body paragraphs. Point out each opinion in the topic sentence and in the beginning of the each body paragraph. These are my topic sentences to each body paragraph. I like the famous person in this book in the first body paragraph. Jack and Annie's mission to stop Charles from quitting writing in the second body paragraph. I like their pictures because they are so well made in the third body paragraph. Supporting details, they give your readers more information about your opinions on a topic. They come after each topic sentence. They are statements, facts, or examples. Add supporting details after each topic sentence in each body paragraph. In the first body paragraph, I like that Charles Dickens wrote many famous books to inspire people. In the second body paragraph, Jack and Annie try to make help Charles Dickens to make him keep writing. And they use the magic violin. That's why I like the mission. In the third body paragraph, I like the picture because they help me visualize the events. And the pictures are also very picturesque and attractive. Closing sentence is a sentence to conclude a paragraph. It comes at the end of a paragraph. It is not related to any details in the paragraph. Restate the topic sentence in a new way. Emphasize your opinion again and recommend readers to check this book. Let's check the closing sentence in each body paragraph. In the first body paragraph, it says it will be amazing to see Charles Dickens in a fantasy book. In the second body paragraph, if you are curious about to know the reason why Charles Dickens wants to quit writing, then check this book. Now, go check out the book and look at the beautiful pictures and admire them. In the third body paragraph. This is a graphic organizer. And if you want to finish your opinion in writing, then follow these instructions and you can do it. After learning about the topic sentence, supporting details, and the closing sentence. And then we'll move on to the three body paragraphs. Just remember, follow the graphic organizer and write your topic sentence, supporting details, and closing sentence. Look at the green underlined. First, I like the famous person in this book. The famous person is Charles Dickens. This is the topic sentence. Look at the blue underlined. Charles Dickens was born in 1812. He wrote many books to inspire people to be nice, nicer and use generosity and kindness to other people. He wrote Christmas Carol, Oliver Twist, Bleak House, David Copperfield, and Great Expectations. I appreciate how he wrote these stories to help poor people. To this day, his books are inspired people around the world. Look at the red underlined. It would be amazing to see Charles Dickens in a fantasy book. This is the closing sentence. Look at the green underlined. This represents the topic sentence for the second opinion. Second, I like how the Jack and Andy help Charles Dickens keep writing by using a magic violin. Next, look, let's look at the blue underlined. The magic violin can bring Charles Dickens to his life of past, present, and future. This is a detail to support my second opinion. Look at the red underlined. That is the closing sentence. If you are curious to know the reason why Charles Dickens wants to quit, then check out the book. Look at the green underlined. Third, I like the story pictures. That is the topic sentence. Look at the blue underlined. It is because they are very picture they are picturesque and very attractive which caught my attention from the beginning to the end. The picture also showed the story event which helped me visualize what's happening in the story. These are the two details that help me support my topic sentence. Look at the red underlined. Now go check out the book.
Look at the picture and admire them. This is the closing sentence. In the next episode, we're going to show you how to write a conclusion to opinion writing. Make sure to subscribe, like our video, and follow us on Instagram, Blink Education.